with their head office on the west coast there, the west side of Canada, uh, Calgary, we welcome uh, a major player who's taken part in the energy conference come next week at the Hyatt Regency. The Touchstone Exploration, Trinidad Limited. Uh, their CEO is on the Zoom line, uh, Mr. Paul B. And I would say that uh, it's exciting times for, for Touchstone Exploration because a five-year extension uh, is granted now uh, to, to you and your team to continue exploration and production license here in Trinidad. So uh, I will obviously extend congratulations there to you, Mr. Bay, and welcome. Welcome to the program. Welcome to the morning, bro. Good morning, and thank you very much for having me. So tell me, obviously, obviously it's a Canadian-based uh, company, and you all are here. Um, uh, just give us a little detail uh, concerning the setup. Uh, you know, let's get a little brief history before we get into all the conference and all the fine details there. You all are Canada-based, right? Uh, West Coast, uh, Calgary? We are, that's correct. We're, we're head offices based out of Calgary. Uh, trade on both the Toronto and the London Stock Exchanges. But um, all of our production and, and all of our assets are based in Trinidad. So a bit unique. It's sort of, it's sort of a, uh, a Trinidad-centric company for sure. Definitely. And I would imagine the work, the work uh, environment and culture would be a hybrid, of course, with Canadians and mostly Trinis to uh, working together for the exploration, yes? Yeah, it's really a, it's a great combination of, um, you know, we're using some, some new technology that certainly has been been uh, used elsewhere around the world. But, you know, there's such a, a deep talent base and such a big history in Trinidad of, of oil and gas exploration that it's, um, you know, it's really an opportunity to work together with the, the talent that exists in Trinidad. So tell us, as it relates to the conference, uh, you're part of the, 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 the setup next week. Uh, what would you say uh, is the approach going into next week? What are some of the conversations you're, you're looking forward to here? And what is your contribution, the contribution of Touchstone Exploration um, next week for the conference? You know, I think one of the most interesting things will be just seeing people again face to face. You know, I think there's that that connection that's always nice to be able to make with uh, other people in our business service company and just you know getting to see everybody again it's going to be uh, be wonderful and from that point of view our, our real contribution um, to the conference is being one of the largest onshore producers so we take a, a little different approach you know we're looking at, at onshore things and there's a there's a section that's on sort of the the new and upcomers in the the industry and we've got um, our manager of exploration Xavier Moon and Who's going to be sitting on that uh, on that presentation? And that's pretty exciting because it's um, you know it's uh, it, there's a, a new generation of explorers and producers uh, coming out of Trinidad, and it's with these higher prices, it's going to be a great opportunity for them going forward. So, with the extension now to July 2026, uh, tell us about some of the uh, drilling and exploration projects. I know, obviously, um, for that extension, clearly it's a it's a hand in hand relationship. Things are clearly working out. Uh, just give us some more intimate details as to some of the plans uh, in place going towards uh, 2026. Yeah, I think that, that that extension. I mean, that's you know, it's obviously a, a huge thing for us. But but there's really three parts to that extension. One is um, you know we're going to be bringing on next month the first onshore gas production that's going to come on, new gas production that's going to come on in you know I think the last 20 years or something close to that. Um, that'll come on middle of June, about 10 million cubic feet a day, and then. And then come October, we'll bring on about another uh, 60 million cubic feet a day that'll actually ramp up to about 90 million by the end of the year. So between now and the end of the year on the production side, we're going to bring on about 100 million cubic feet a day. And then on the license itself, we agreed to three more exploration wells. But that's really just scratching the surface. It's really, um, it's really about the development program on all of our projects, uh, as well as exploration. So, you know, over the next five years, I'm... You know, I think there'll be roughly probably 15 or 20 wells drilled on that block over the next uh, next period of time. As the world pivots towards uh, cleaner energy, alternative sources of energy, uh, you believe that your line of business, there will always have relevance, there will always be a need uh, to, to, to drill and to explore, seeing that other parts of the world are looking towards other alternatives? Yeah, I, I, I really do, and especially, you know, Trinidad's uniquely situated for the LNG business, as well as the petrochemical business and probably the petrochemical business more than anything you know we're, we're still going to need those petrochemicals for the other parts of the world that are our lives that we we deal in um, even if you know oil and gas moves away from the transportation sector and you know trinidad's just uniquely situated there with uh, the resource that they have in place so that's number one um, i also think it's a long time away you know we're 
we're looking at something that's 30 plus years away um, till our relevance is, is, is minimized. But, uh, you know, I, I really think that there's a unique opportunity for turning down that. And from our point of view, you know, we're going to go from being a 100% gas company to being an 80%, uh, sorry, a 100% oil company to uh, be about 80% natural gas when we bring these on. So, you know, there's a switch to cleaner fuel and replacement fuel, transition fuel, you can use all those buzzwords that we want to use, but it's still energy-based and, and that's the exciting part for sure. Indeed. I know next to obviously the exploration and uh, obviously profit, because everybody's in business for profit. In your particular field, uh, safety is of paramount importance. I know that is a top shelf uh, consideration. Uh, tell me about the safety record and you know your particular protocols uh, with the company and your team members uh, as it relates to, to safety and, and, and that adherence to all the rules. Yeah, you know what, you're absolutely right. That 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 is the you know the number one thing that, that certainly drives us, especially when you have a you know we're building two major gas facilities uh, along with drilling wells, building roads, building pipelines. You know, there's a lot of activity going on, so that that is the number one sort of driven approach. But, but our approach to it um, is a proactive approach versus reactive. So you know, for us, it's trying to get out in front of things and and. Really, what I'll, what I'll say is empowering the employees that um, you know if they see something that that doesn't look safe or a, a, a process that they think can be improved on, um, that's really the approach that we take. And our record has been has really been flawless, besides some you know some minor um, obvious injuries that happen with medical injuries, whether it be a, a cut or a, you know a, a finger hit by a hammer, those kind of things. But even those, you know, we try to minimize down to. Uh, to a zero amount, but uh, our record so far, and you know, hope to keep that going forward, especially as we get get busier, has been been virtually flawless. Yeah, I'm sure all that would have been taken into consideration when the extension was granted. So clearly, uh, the track record is a good one, and uh, I know you will keep it that way. I want to find out more on uh, uh, social, uh, you know, that giving back uh, kind of part of every business. Are you? Uh, actively working with any NGOs, any local groups, and do you all integrate at all into the fabric of Trinidad uh, to, to uh, give back in any way? Yeah, you know, that's a, that's another key point for us, but I think we maybe take a little bit of a different approach to it. Uh, our approach is a, a very low-key approach in that we want to make sure that anything we're doing is in the communities that we operate on, in, and that's really for us that sort of real claro area for the new block, and then also down in that Faisabad area, um, with our existing production and, and we deal with everything from schools that we've helped out to water tanks that we've delivered in the Rio Claro area, you know, a special needs school up in Rio Claro that we've, we've helped rebuild a piece of it and, and work, you know, with the, the, the managers of the school, but also where we can not only just give time, but where we can give some of our labor and, and those kind of things. So it's, it's a more low key approach in what we've done. Um, but that's certainly something that we, we continually to actively do um, in what we want to do. But the key there is doing it in the communities we want. We've got a community liaison officer that's on the ground every day, and uh, we go forward from there. And, and we think we've made uh, a good relationship with the communities, and we're, we're going to continue to do that. And, you know, quite frankly, we haven't taken any money out yet. We're in that early phase. So, you know, we would see that ramping up as production comes on here and, uh, and make sure that we... We do our do more than our fair share in those communities we're in. Yeah, well done. Corporate social responsibility very, very important, and to integrate into the uh, community. I want to find out from your experience being here thus far. Obviously, now with the extension, with new projects coming on stream uh, this year, what's been the work ethic uh, when we look at the local, the local setup? There are many who sometimes still uh, question the work ethic. I know, obviously, Trinbagonians can be world class. We are, but what's been your experience uh, with the the local team being part of all the exploration and, and drilling. Well, you know, it's interesting you say that because we have sort of a unique model here at Touchstone. Our, our entire um, uh, team in Trinidad is, is from Trinidad. We, we have no expats um, operating on the ground down there. It's, it's, um, it's, it's virtually a Trinidad company um, when, you, when you look at it. And so, you, you know, when you use world class for, for the working arrangement, it, it really is. Like the talent pool is, is amazing um, whether it's you know gas plant operators whether it's contractors um, you know whether it's field operators whether it's accounting whether it's people in culture whatever it is HSE that you talk about you know it really it's really a unique opportunity 
um, when we look at it down there. But the, the other part of it too is that, you know, the work environment, you, you say there's, there's, you know, there's really a, a, a turned out as a culture, I've been doing this for 12 years and, and looked at other places around the world and I just haven't seen that where, you know, there's um, a focus on health and safety, there's a focus on families, there's a focus on getting things done and a, and a real sense of community. And um, yeah, it's, I think, I think it's probably one of the biggest assets in Trinidad is, is, is the work environment for sure. Yeah. And as you rightfully said, the expertise, you know, we have been uh, very well versed and, and, and trained in this particular field for, for many years. But when you look at other uh, jurisdictions across the world, uh, namely down south in Guyana, where things are happening, uh, you're looking at some opportunities in that regard in other, other jurisdictions? You know, we have. We, we've looked at other places, but i, I got to be honest with you, it's pretty tough to compete with, um, um, you know, the, the geology, the opportunities uh, in Trinidad. And, and part of that is just the, what I talked a little bit about earlier about the, the LNG facilities, the petrochemical. Um, you know, there's this takeaway capacity. There's this need for natural gas uh, right on the island. Um, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money to bring these wells on production and, and, and get them going. So we just kind of look at the cost of capital and moving to other places. We want to stay on shore. We're not looking offshore. And, and when you do that, um, you know, the, the the opportunity that Trinidad presents itself is is pretty unique. We, don't, we, we try not to talk about that too much when we're uh, when we're outside of Trinidad because we don't want any competition. So that may be a little selfish on our part. But, <laughs> I but, but we really see, you know, we've done, as, as you say, we've done a lot of looking around and, and there's very few places that look as interesting as Trinidad does right now. Interesting, interesting. Mr. Bay, uh, I know you all will definitely uh, make a major impact next week at the conference. Uh, all the best in that regard. I'll give you a chance to put forward some closing remarks. Go right ahead. Yeah, you know, I think it's just, it's, it's an exciting time. It's an exciting time for Trinidad. It's an exciting time certainly for, for Touchstone. It's an exciting time for the Energy Chamber as... You know the opportunity is really there for us to to do our part in both transitioning to cleaner fuels and other fuels and and Trinidad's just perfectly positioned um, to take advantage of that and uh, I, I think there's also the will there from the government from the companies from the people and uh, that's that's always a positive thing it's just it's it's a great place to work right now in our business for sure mr. B all the best keep us posted with all the progress thanks for your time appreciate it yeah, most welcome. That's the CEO of Touchstone Exploration Trinidad Limited here with us here on the Morning Brew. Remember, we will be bringing you that energy conference on Tuesday live from the Hatch Regency. That should be very exciting. We take a break. We come back. Social media details, something to think about. Your food for thought, yeah? Um, listen, lots happening. Lots happening. So stay with us. See you soon.